The legend lives on from the Chippewa home down of the big lake they call Gitchipuli. The lake, it is said, never gets up for dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald away and empty. That good ship and true was upon to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side, coming back from Sunville in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding this in terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland And later that night when the ship still rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the licks of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind Time came, the old cook came on back saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. the main hatch we came in, he said, fellas, it's been good to know you. The captain wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. Later that night, when his lights went out of sight, in the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the words turn the lips? Two hours. The searchers all say they'd have made white fish day if they'd put fifteen more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They never broke deep into the water. If all ever remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron rolls superior scenes In the rooms of her ice water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners on go with the gales of November remembered In a musty old hall in Detroit they read in the maritime Cathedral. The 
church bell chimes and it rang twenty-nine times for each man on the end of this Gerald Wall. The legend lives on from the Chippewa down of the big lake they call Kitchigory. Superior, they said, never gets up for dead when the gales of November come early. 